What up folks, Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech, I hope you're all well. Bit of an early week video for you this week because on Friday I made a five minute Friday video showing you how to create these really simple video masks directly on the edit page of DaVinci Resolve 17 using these new composite modes. Everyone seemed to enjoy the video, but there were a few questions about how these new composite modes actually work. By that I mean the foreground and the alpha composite modes. So I figured I'd make a real quick video just going through them, talking about them in a little bit more detail and hopefully showing you how they work so you've got a better understanding of what's actually going on. Now, this is a bit of a waffly video. I don't really have anything planned. It's not a particularly structured video like my usual ones are, like one thing, here we go. No, 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 no. It's just me just talking through the process. So hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you get something from it. If you don't, I'm sure you'll let me know down in the comment section below. Right, let's open DaVinci Resolve and we'll take a quick look. So we're here in DaVinci Resolve, we're on the edit tab, and I've got this video set up on video track number one. We're not actually going to begin doing anything with this, but it helps to have something on video track number one. It just helps you get a better idea of what's going on because there's something for you to look at. If we didn't have that, it would just be black and then things start to get a little bit more confusing. So the first thing I'm going to do is just grab a text plus from the effects library. We're going to put that on video track two. We'll lengthen that out a little bit. And then we could change the text, we could do what we want if we wanted to, but I'm not going to bother for now. And we actually need that to be on video track number three. So we're just going to move that up one, like so, so it's on video track number three. And then I'm going to come down to the generators, and I'm going to grab a solid colour, and we're going to bring that onto video track number two, and lengthen that out. Now by default, what's going on here is we've just got three things stacked one on top of each other. So we've got the text on top, we've got a solid colour, which just happens to be black, if we change the color, it can make it green, whatever we want it to be. And then we've got our video underneath. So let's start playing around with these composite modes a little bit more. So I'm going to go to this text plus. We're going to go to the settings, composite, and I'm going to change this to be the foreground. Now, when you change something to be the foreground, what you're basically telling DaVinci Resolve is this is the thing that we want to see. So this is the thing that we want to be seen in DaVinci Resolve. That'll make more sense in a second. We're going to come down to the solid color and we're going to change that to be alpha. Now that's going to make that invisible. It's going to make it so it's completely see-through, which is why we can now see this video underneath. So we've still got the text where it was because that's the foreground. That's the thing we want to see. The solid color has now gone transparent because we've made that the alpha. And then we've got the video underneath. Now this is why this is quite cool. So. If I just reduce the size of this solid color, so I'm just making this solid color a little bit smaller. If I move the solid color out of the way, watch what happens to the text. Because this is the foreground and this is the alpha, the foreground will only appear where the alpha exists. So then what we can actually do is start to use things as masks, which is exactly how we created those video masks in the previous video. Now that also gives us some cool ways that we can actually use these masks. So let me just put that right on the edge there. And then if I was to grab the text, just move its position to the left. If we move it outside of the solid color, which is basically functioning as a mask at the moment, we can use it to mask the text. And then we can do one of these if I was to keyframe it or do whatever, we could do a nice little text reveal, which we could do before in DaVinci Resolve, but you'd have to go into the Fusion tab to do it. So this thing, the alpha, just acts as a mask. Let me delete these, and I've got another example. So this is my logo. Let's make it a bit smaller. Now this is going to be the alpha. So we need to put this on video track number two. And basically what we're doing is we're telling DaVinci Resolve this is the shape that we want to see. So we're going to go down to composite mode and we're going to make that the alpha and nothing will change. Now let's grab solid color. This time we're going to put the solid color on top. So now the solid color is just filling the screen with black. Let's go to the generators. Let's give it a different color. Let's go with this pink. Then we're going to go to settings and we're going to change this to be the foreground. So the foreground is the thing that we want to see. The alpha is essentially the shape that we want to see it in. So if we go to foreground, we're now seeing that solid color, but only where the alpha exists, which means we can just do this with it. 
Now obviously that's a solid color, so that looks cool. We could have kind of done that anyway, but it's quite handy to know that if you've got a PNG, whether it be an arrow or something else, you've got a logo, you've got text, whatever, you can really quickly change the color of it by simply putting a solid color on top, making that the foreground, and then using your logo or whatever to become the alpha, to become the shape, and then you can really quickly change the color of it. So that's cool. Now obviously that's a solid color, so kind of cool, not the most exciting thing. Let's remove the solid color. Let me just import some new media. We'll just go with this nightclub scene here. We'll put that on top. And this time, this is going to become the foreground. And now that video will play where my logo exists. And then I can move this around. And we've got something that looks like this. Which is quite a funky little effect. Now, one last quick example. So we're going to keep this nightclub scene on top. And that's going to stay the foreground because that's the thing that we want to see. I'm then going to grab a solid color and put it underneath. And that's going to become the alpha. So now you're only going to see this clip wherever the solid color exists. So if I was to move the solid color like so, you're only going to see the video where the solid color exists. So that's cool. Why do we care about that? Well, what you could do, you could put it at a bit of an angle if you wanted to. And then you could go to the cropping. You could add a bit of softness to the edge. You could do that with a couple of different clips and then you've got that effect, which again, you could do before, but you'd have to go into the color tab and start messing around with masks. You can do it really quickly in here. And that's obviously just using a solid color. If you imported some of the shapes that I created previously, so now we've got the star, we'll just import the star and we'll turn that one into the alpha. And now the video is playing wherever that star is. So that's cool. And that's exactly how my video masks worked. Now there's actually one other, which I haven't mentioned yet. So let's just make this smaller. We'll put that sort of on my face-ish. There we go. So the alpha means the foreground is displayed wherever the alpha exists, which is why we're seeing the video within the star. The composite mode, there's also an inverted alpha, which says exactly what it says on the tin. The video is displayed wherever the alpha isn't. So we've got this star here, and wherever the star exists, this video will be playing through, the one underneath. And wherever the star doesn't exist, i.e. everywhere else in the rest of the frame, the top video will be playing. So it's just a cool little feature that just enables you to do masks and do other cool little things directly on the edit tab without having to go elsewhere. Now I've actually got a couple of ideas for this. One is that text reveal, which I think we're gonna make a five minute Friday about. And then I think there's probably some other cool stuff that we could do with it as well. If you've got any ideas, any cool things you think that we could do with this, leave them down in the comment section below. And if it's useful, I'll make a video just to tell everyone else about it as well. So yeah, that was it. That was just me, hopefully, trying to explain these composite modes a little bit better. There's actually no documentation, not as far as I can find, that talks about these alpha, foreground, and inverted alpha. So this is just me experimenting, trying to figure it out and put it into some words or a demonstration that hopefully explains it a little bit better. If it did help, please do let me know. Thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, whatever. If it didn't help, if it was a horrible explanation, please also do let me know down in the comment section as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will be back again later this week. You take care. See ya.